Hello, my name is Stuart Hammersley. I'm Head of Digital Learning at Thomas's London Day Schools and also an Apple Distinguished Educator. From the classroom to full remote, a fast learning curve. Thomas's is a leading London Day School based across four sites in West London, catering for pupils between the ages of 5 and 13. The plans for the use of technology for teaching and learning began by creating a cross-school vision that all stakeholders would buy into and have ownership of. This was developed to clearly articulate the change in teaching and how it was rooted in pedagogy. The digital vision is to see all pupils and teachers using technology to create engaging and innovative materials to support the development of thinking, questioning, and applying in an inquiry mindset curriculum. Children will become problem solvers by considering the society in which they exist and collaborate to create design oriented responses to local and global issues. As with every large project, careful planning was embarked upon, flowing from the digital vision. Weekly meetings, deciding on strategy and refining systems, making sure our infrastructure was in place and conducting research into platforms that met the needs of our curriculum and pupils. It was time for us, our leadership teams and the schools to get our ducks in a row. Whilst planning for the pupils to have devices and how this would dovetail within our developing curriculum, we focused on staff continuous professional development. We looked at core competences, camera, keynote, clips, markup, video recording, screen recording and QR codes. Success of staff was celebrated and shared throughout our school community, highlighting to our parents the commitment the school and staff were showing to the changes we were embarking on. Some more reluctant staff were incentivised with prizes. It's amazing what teaching staff will do for chocolate. To stop rumours and preempt negative attitudes, we held our parent information meetings over the course of one week. A stock set of slides and FAQs were prepared and every parent across four schools were given the same information with a dedicated email address for any follow-up questions. Before meeting with parents, we brainstormed all the possible concerns they may have, including everything from YouTube, app deployments to content filtering, to ensure we had an answer for all of their possible concerns. Now all the planning was complete, we had to get the devices into the hands of the children in a systematic and timely way. In September 2018, we deployed 600 one-to-one -one iPads. These sat alongside 1,000 shared devices. This has now grown to 2,500 in March 2022. During the Michaelmas term of 2018, the Cross Schools team agreed on four C's of digital learning. These are forged from the four schools' school improvement plans. These four C's were intended to enable a sharp focus when using digital tools for learning. This would ensure that they were being used effectively. The four C's are creativity, collaboration, communication and critical thinking. Across all the schools, we agreed on a suite of core apps that are cross-curricular, enabling all pupils to work in a collaborative, creative nature and use any of these apps independently or in combination with others to creatively communicate their understanding on a topic. Everything pupils created was shared via Seesaw and teachers monitored, supported and scaffold children's work through the use of Apple Classroom. Just because the devices were now in children's and teachers' hands, our commitment to staff CPD continued. We now entered the classroom to team teach, hold hands with staff and assist the children in their journey. A more formal approach to offer staff opportunities for CPD was developed, using a system of menus, firstly to engage, but also to allow staff to have ownership of their training. Offering a variety of differentiated sessions allowed staff to choose a level that is suited to their ability and a subject that interested them. We developed a series of high street food menus. The staff showed overwhelming engagement both before, during and following the sessions. Learning was being shared and was a positive experience. Then this slowly became a worldwide issue. The wider school leadership group met on this day to discuss plans for potential school closures. 
The digital team saw this as an opportunity to progress the use of digital technology across the schools, and many of the systems were already ready and being used. The leadership group didn't share our optimism. Wednesday, March 4th, was when staff were informed of the plans for schooling should we have to close. Many questions, much anxiety. Friday, March 6th, saw the first of many trainings. We created a digital book with guides, expectations and videos to get stuff started. We created a comprehensive guide with lesson expectations and videos on anything staff needed to know. This became a one-stop shop for technical information. March 13th, in-school trials began. Children sat accessing digital lessons as if they were in a remote environment. Feedback gathered and plans adjusted. March 20th, Thomas's London Day Schools took the decision to close. We reverted to full remote schooling. We crossed our fingers and hoped. Our blended learning environment had successfully transitioned to remote learning. Even though this transition had been successful, on the most part, parents, pupils and staffs were coping well with this new way of educating. Tweaks had to be made. We spent the Easter break testing and refining the offering. Our belief of small steps for big change was evident in our approach. A live pastoral element was added to the provision using Zoom. We therefore had to provide remote training to all staff and set out clear expectations and uses for children, parents and staff alike. We needed to train our staff very quickly in the use of Zoom. The majority had never used the platform. When introducing a new platform, we usually do this through training to all staff and provide drop-in support sessions for them. In this case, all of this training and support had to take place remotely. We quickly became experts in troubleshooting remotely. More remote training continued with tutorials on enhancing video introductions from complex methods to simply stacking books and recording a video of writing on paper. Sharing these resources with staff was very important as it gave them a reference to start and meant that the digital leads in each school were not being asked the same repeated questions. As we slowly returned to school, we were ready to look forward and teachers were more open to pushing the boundaries and learning more. The opportunity for increased digital skills that we envisaged to exist at the beginning of the pandemic certainly has led to children and teachers' digital creativity and fluency thriving. Long may this continue. Thank you very much.